Let's get on to some other shit. But yeah, I just want to do as I want to do. You know what I mean? I want to see who I want to see. And a lot of people can't digest Mr. Malibu. A lot of people can't digest him at all. You know, and that's why I don't even talk about that. I don't talk about it. I don't put it all out there because it ain't nobody's business. And and as long as somebody's up in it and all like that, then their show shit, then that way shit go haywire. It ain't nobody's business. He will remain a mystery man. And he's a damn good one. Let me just go and tell you that, okay? Um, boy. <laughs> boy, Okay. Uh, so anyway, uh, but so that's where I'm at, you know, I want to get some cute clothes on, some jumpsuits, tight ass jeans, and you know what I'm saying, and I want to go and just roll out, you know what I mean, I haven't driven my car nowhere, it hasn't been nowhere, but the farthest my car has actually been is what, San Diego, you know, and Los Angeles, I haven't even been, to, I haven't even driven my car to Vegas. You know, but I know it's going to be a bomb-ass motherfucking jazz festival going to take place. Even the hoodies is going to be back in L.A. too. And I know a few of y'all was hitting me up. It was like, you know, Tina, come to the, you know what I'm saying, the beach party. It's going to be Jill Scott. I want to come and do that, but that's the same motherfucking day New Edition going to be playing. So where you think I'm going to be at? Okay? And don't let my baby go ahead and get us some tickets and shit. You know, I'm going to be just with that motherfucker. Okay? I'm just going to go and tell you that part right there as well. Okay? So, um, but, uh, yeah, so, I'm just having fun, and, you know, I want to, I want to make my own rules, and I just feel like this, as long as I'm taking care of my kids, I'm not asking nobody for nothing, I'm paying my bills, you know, I'm staying prayed up, you know, and, uh, I'm, I'm attempting to live by the word of God. I do fall short. Let me just, let me, let me just be crystal clear on it. I do fall short. Um, you know, I'm still a student. I'm a sinner. I'm all that, and but yet and still, my heart is still pure, and I'm still, you know, trying to get those things right. I fall down, but I get right back up, you know, and I'm really um, working on my mind, body, and soul, and I've been doing that, and, and, and it's been reaping really good rewards. I sleep good at night. My body is in the best shape that it's ever been. Now, mind you now, I have picked up a couple of motherfucking pounds while you're bullshitting. Okay, I done picked up a few motherfucking pounds now. Don't let all this right here get it twisted, okay? Yeah, I done picked up a little bit, a couple of pounds and shit, but uh, I'm going to chisel all this shit out, okay? Because I'm telling you right now, now I'm on the fourth row in the pit of down there to go see Fantasia and them. I don't know what I'm wearing yet, but I want it to be white. Let me just go and say that. I don't know if I'm going to put on a dress that's going to hold on everything, a jumpsuit that's going to grab at everything. Or I'm just going to put me some white jeans on and some kind of little top and I'm going to let that snatch at everything. I don't know. But I am going to do white and I am going to be bad as a motherfucker. I'm tell you that right now. So, starting the first, I'm going to go through my little cleansing rituals and start, you know, cleansing my body. I got some colonics and different things. I have IV therapy. I have different things that... Um, that I got going on, and so once I get all that cracking, yeah, that's what's happening. Oh, y'all, let me show y'all something. Hold on. I know the last time that, um, what I, because remember I told y'all I did this video a little bit ago, a few minutes ago, and when I did the video, the, uh, volume was lost. Hold on one second. Hold up. Let me see something. Let me grab something else. My shirt rolls up, so fuck it. It is what it is, okay? My shirt rolls up. But, um, um, anyway, I wanted to show you guys a few things. Some things that I had gotten from Mexico, and on the last video, damn, I still didn't get my little bottle. Hold on, let me, hold on, let me get my bottle. I wanted to show y'all something. On the last video that I did earlier, the, the volume didn't come out on this same video. And I was just catching you guys up. And I was talking about some of the things that I had bought, brought back from Mexico. Well, this is um, a tequila that I had bought. And it has the worm in it at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it has a worm in there. And so, um, I had a really good time. The kids were on spring break. And it was just, it was fun. 
You know, we just had a really good time and just brought that ass back. Did four or five days. We did five days and just came back. So, anyway, while I was there, though, I went on me a medication run. Um, because you can buy all kinds of things in Mexico without prescriptions or anything. You can just go up there and tell them what you want. And if it's not a narcotic, you can get it. Like, Viagra's and shit. Oh, my God. I got a whole motherfucking bottle in my own medicine cabinet in case a nigga got a problem. You know what I'm saying? Ow! In my own arsenal. I got my own kit. Uh, nigga, it ain't working right. Okay, it's no problem. We got 30 minutes. Go and take this right here. And let's keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't put me in, in the category of no motherfucking Bill Cosby and all that old type of shit. Because I ain't got to get a nigga fucked up to go and get it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying. The niggas that I usually choose to fuck with, you know what I'm saying, are of a particular age. And sometimes, you know, there's a little issue. So, if there's a little issue, I got you. So, anyway, jokes. Real shit, though. Okay? Real motherfucking shit. Okay? But, uh, yeah, but I have bought this. This is pure collagen. I haven't tried it yet. It's in a powder form, and it's a tangerine um, flavor. I don't know what it's going to taste like, but I'm going to put it in my smoothies, and I'm going to start this come May 1st, and I'm going to put it in my smoothies every day, and we're just going to, you know, boost some collagen and stuff. My face and stuff has been clearing up, so it's just, the shit is working. But everything's working. Oh, and so, also... In Mexico, I bought me some B Complex. I give my own injections. Um, I have one ML every three days, so twice a week. Um, and this right here is B Complex with vitamin B1, 2, 6, and 12. And it's a fat ass bottle, right? So, it, which means I get a lot of dosages. I think this bottle gives me like 30 dosages in this one bottle. Um, so, Anyway, because how many, isn't this a 30? I think this is a 30. Yeah, this is a 30. So this is 30 um, dosages in this one bottle. And this is the way it came. And so, you know, I have a nursing degree, a nursing background. So I give my own, you know, injections, no problem. I hit it in that ass and keep it pushing. And so, oh my God, I'm going to need you to look up. The benefits of vitamin B complex. I'm talking about 1, 2, 12, you know, 7 and 6 and, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Look into it and see what they do because I'm telling you, anti-aging. Let me tell you what it do for me, okay? I can't tell you about what it do for nobody else. Let me just tell you what it do for me and is it working, okay? Because I've been taking this now for a month. I've been back for a whole month. Got it in Mexico. Been taking it since I came back, okay? What it is doing for me, it is debulking me a lot. From the swelling, um, from, uh, you know, from my foot. And then, too, you know, while I've been laying up, I've been eating up a lot, too. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why I'm saying I got to, you, you know, I got to debulk and kind of, you know, kind of lean things out just a little bit. And kind of, you know, chisel it out a little bit. And this increases my metabolism. It gives my energy a hell of a boost. Um, it's good for my mental. What else? It's anti-aging. Um, it's good for my skin, good for my hair. My hair is thickening it up, but, you know, I'm also using my new uh, uh, treatment. But, you know, man, I'm just having some, I'm having bomb. I'm just in the light, okay? I'm just in the light. I'm just in favor right now. And sometimes favor is just not fair. But, Father God, I thank you for choosing me to stand in the light right now. I understand that it's merely peaks and valleys and you go through and, you know, you digress and, you know, and you're up and you're sometimes down. I understand all of that. But, Father God, I just thank you for choosing me to live in such a light right now because I'm having the best life that I could ever possibly imagine, you know. No, I don't live on a, on, on a hill and, uh, you know, with... You know, uh, tennis courts in my backyard and, you know, I'm on two or three acres. No, I, it's none of that old type of shit. None of that. I'm just a, some regular peanut butter and jelly ass nigga. Thousand year ass motherfucker. But I'm having fun. I'm not stressed. I'm able to pay who I owe. I'm not living outside of my means. I'm not, none, I'm just, man, I'm just, if I could just enjoy this the rest of my life, I'm calling it into existence. If I don't ever get an Academy Award. If I don't ever, um, whatever, if I don't ever, whatever, I'm, I'm good with it. 
I've seen so much, I've done so much, I've witnessed so much in my lifetime. And I'm just thankful that I was chose one of the chosen ones to be able to live this life, you know? I'm, I'm just, I can't complain, man. I'm, everything is everything, and it's all good, okay? Now, anyway, this last thing I got behind me, um, I got this the other day when I went to Food for Less. It's not even open yet, and it was a markdown at 569. Now, you guys know that I also um, get IV therapy, and they infuse me with B-complex and mag, uh, ma uh, magnesium and uh, magnets and all, that, all those different things that they infuse with um, my Myers cocktail that I get. And, um, and so being that I'm doing my injections at home, I haven't been getting my cocktail because I haven't needed it. I've been getting what I need with this B complex right here, right? Now, mind you, a Myers cocktail, you're looking at like, <sighs> see, I usually buy mine as a series. And a series of three usually cost me about mm, between 200 and 250. And, uh, but that this vial that I got, you know, and I keep it in my refrigerator and I have a box of syringes and I tell you what, that bottle and it's 30, um, 30, uh, servings or should I say 30 injections, injections, excuse me. That right there, I think I paid less than $20 for that bottle. Are you kidding me? So, all I needed now was the magnesium and the potassium and the manganese and all that old type of shit. And boom, that's this. And the extra vitamin C. That's what the Myers cocktail is. Y'all always know that I'm going to look into the background of some shit. That's how I was able to put y'all up on uh, 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 a knockoff conducting gel for our toner. You know, for those of us that have sensitive skin like me, I had to come up with something else that I could use that's going to still give me the same benefit, but less of an allergic reaction. And so, anyway, but so I got these two and uh, this uh, 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C um, and it's antioxidants with manganese, zinc, um, vitamin C and seven B vitamins and electrolytes and essential nutrients and all this other kind of stuff. And you mix it with up to six ounces of water. Um, and, you know, just to, you know, replace a lot of my electrolytes when I come out of the sauna. I'm not going to start these guys until after the first because starting the first is, you know, when I'm getting ready to go through these rituals and you guys will see. I'll take you guys to the gym because I'm going to get back in the gym real tough life. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing my shit around here, which has been paying off. I've been vibrating upside down. I've been doing all kind of crazy shit up in this motherfucking bosle ball and planking and all kinds of shit. But I'm going to go back to the gym and start lifting that iron up in there. You know what I'm saying? I also want to take um, cycling classes. I want to get into cycling. So I'm going to do all that shit at the gym. You know, and plus I want to do some running. So I want to get on a treadmill and just run. So, um... But I got this right here, so then therefore to kind of take the place of me not um, getting my IV therapy because that Myers cocktail is the business. If you guys are ever able to, uh, certain things that you might want to try and incorporate into your healthy lifestyle, my shit ain't for everybody, okay? This is what works for me. Let me just go and tell you. This shit right here is subjective. It's working for me. You can see the results. It's working. Here's my receipts, okay? It's working. So what you do is you just pick little things that may work for somebody else and kind of incorporate those things into what you got going on. You'll know that if it's not working because you're going to have a reaction that's either good or bad from the start. You know what I'm saying? You try anything and after a couple of days, you're going to have to, you're going to start seeing a reaction or feel some type of difference or whatever. If it's positive or negative, you know whether or not you want to go that way. See, like I tell y'all all the time, you know, I go with energy. I'm going to go wherever the energy flow. If the energy is negative on that end, then I'm not going there. I'm going to go this way. You know, I'm going to stay going where the energy flows. And so, you know, and I say the same with whatever you incorporate into your um, fitness regimens and stuff. If it ain't working for you, don't do it no goddamn more. It ain't going to work. You know what I mean? Instead of just still sticking with the same shit, no, you got to, you know, gumbo your shit. Try different things. See what's going to happen. Everything ain't for everybody, you know. So, anyway, so those are the things that I'm working on. We're going to do a video a day in May and, 
you know, we're going to get caught up. We're going to do, um, um, I have a foot detox system. I want to try that out. We're going to see what that's going to do. Um, and so, uh, we're going to have some fun with some things, you know. See, look. Y'all, I met this nigga. Let me just go and say this right here. I met this nigga the other day. What day was it? Today is Sunday. I had decided that I had went grocery shopping. After I went grocery shopping, I had decided that, you know, let me eat me something, you know, before I get home and, you know, start my dinner and shit. Sunday, I had made a meatloaf, fried some cabbage, and made some little macaroni and cheese. And so, um, and we had some buttered bread. Bomb. It was good ass dinner. You know what I'm saying? Kenny had came over. We set up and chilled and kicked it and shit. Watched the Stella Awards and, you know, just kind of just kicked it around and shit. And so, but after I had went to the grocery store on my way coming home, I decided that I'd stop by KFC and go get me um, the four wings and a biscuit. It's five dollars um, in original. So I decided. I said, you know what? The drive-through line is kind of long. I'm gonna go on inside. Girls, how about I went inside? Yeah, I hear you, nigga. I went inside, and the line was kind of long inside. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna go on and wait. Ain't no sense of me going back, getting in the car. Motherfuckers getting out of service right now. You know, church motherfucking members is getting in line, and you know they getting buckets to take home and shit. So you know it's it's getting crowded in KFC. So I said, fuck it. I'm gonna just go ahead on, stand in the line, just go and wait. So, here come this guy come in. You know, he come in chest catting like a motherfucker. Grinning to the, I said, look at this happy motherfucker, you know. And so, every time I look that direction, because I'm feeling this motherfucker all up in here. So, when I look that way, he just a grinning and shit, you know. And just making small talk and shit. So, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to, because I'm not one to just totally ignore people. So, you know, I just started talking to him or whatever and, you know. You know, he was real nice and stuff. So, you know, we was laughing and talking and stuff. He was just coming out of service and, you know, he was talking about church today and all that other kind of stuff. So, we, you know, we in line, we talking. I get up to the register and so I ordered my stuff. And how about dude was like, nah, she ain't go, she ain't got to pay. I, I, I got this, you know, and he paid for my little food. I was like, wow, okay, you know what I'm saying? Regardless to what it was, the gesture was just, you know, it was like, oh my God, you know. A woman wants to be taken care of and catered to. You know what I'm saying? She wants to feel important. I want to. Let me just go and say this. You know what I'm saying? I want to be seen, sheltered, and shown. I want to be shown some things. I want you to share to me. And I also want to be seen. I want you to feel good about the fact that you're with me. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't want you to be back burning my motherfucking ass and keeping me on the low low. You know what I'm saying? Especially if we're in a monogamous relationship and we're really there. You know, I yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to meet mama and them and cousin them and big birth and them and all that old type of shit. Nigga, I bring the potato salads. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, you know, so um, anyway, we exchange numbers and everything. And this motherfucker been blowing me up ever since. He's a nice guy. You know what I'm saying? But, um... You know, when that motherfucker told me, now mind you now, he in his early 50s, right? That motherfucker told me he got 18 kids. I really thought he was bullshitting when he told me that, okay? And so today, while I was going to get my oysters, y'all saw my oysters. I posted it on Instagram. I was fucking them motherfuckers up. You see, I still got the same pants on, okay? So, uh, did you go to the store and them motherfuckers? Yeah, I damn sure did. But I had my little my little Pendleton wrapped around my waist. You know, my little plaid top wrapped around my waist, though. So, you ain't seeing all these hips and thighs because I ain't trying to fuck nobody's ass up. You know what I mean? Because bitches get mad. I went to the fish market one motherfucking day. I'm up there ordering my fish. And I, this little couple was sitting in there. And they sitting to the side and shit. And I guess he was staring or whatever. And she just got in his ass. Fuck you mean, and oh, why are you checking for this bitch? She did call me a bitch, you know what I'm saying? She was like, why are you checking for this bitch, and yada, 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 and this, that, and other, and bitch, nigga, I'll fuck you up. She was, went ballistic. I'm standing up there minding my own motherfucking bitch, and y'all motherfuckers is behind me, okay? She got in that nigga's ass like you would not believe. I don't know if he had looked or what, the, what he had going on. So that's why I don't engage chicks too tough. I don't, because I don't know where your mind is. I don't know where your motherfucking mind is at. I ain't out here trying to fight no motherfucking body. I'm too old for that shit. 
You know what I'm saying? So then therefore, I ain't trying to eye contact a lot of bitches. Because bitches, we want you to eye contact them so they can be like, bitch, what you looking at? You know, so they can get a fight and shit going. I'm too old for that shit. So I already know the baiting and I already know all that. So when I, especially when I'm at the fish market and I know all them live and direct motherfuckers is up in there. Nigga, I'm going straight to the motherfucking counter. Give me that, um, give me a piece of that filet right there. Cut it in half. Give me the, the tail portion. But they cut the, I don't want the tail on there. Okay, on the fillets is already because like you can buy the steaks or you can buy the fillets on the steaks and all that stuff. It got the t his tail is attached and all that, or you can buy the tails and I, I don't want all that, but I do want a catfish fillet. Cut mine almost like half of the um, half of the fillets because they be about that long. That's so much meat for me, you know. Even though I'm just getting one, but I get that one and I have them kind of cut it slanted and give me the skinny portion. You know, the tail end, whereas it goes down to the tail, but the tail ain't on it. Give me that part right there. But I want you to also cut my little piece in long slits. So, usually it's always about a quarter pound. It's always point twenty. I always stay around between point eighteen and point twenty two. So, about a quarter pound is what I usually get of catfish. And that's just that one little plank. And they cut it in long strips. Fry mine, and that's how I roll. And I get me a half a jar of oysters, and I also want my oysters cut up as well before you fry them. Anyway, she went all off and shit, and I was like, you know what, whatever. You know, and so, and I just, I didn't even turn around. and look, I didn't get, listen, let me tell you something. It was like that bitch did not exist. Do, I, do, do, do you understand me? It was like this bitch did not exist. After I paid for my shit, and, and she already sitting behind me, bitch, you already noticed that my card is not orange, which means there's no EBT or nothing that this motherfucker's blue with a chip on that motherfucker that you just put in the slit right there. Bitch, don't fuck with me. While you sitting up here trying to go off and call me a bitch, call me out my name in front of your dude and all this other kind. If you want this bitch, this right here, this right here, this. Uh, them, nigga, that's shots, and that's this and that. I mean, she was, she was trying to get a rally going, you know what I'm saying? How about I just politely pay for my motherfucking fish? Now, you know, me and old girl that's, that worked there, you know, me and her looking at each other like, you know, I'm like, this, you know, this some hood shit, whatever. After I paid for my shit, how about I went on, boop, boop, got in my motherfucking ride and cut my shit on in this motherfucker. My shit back in, motherfucking lights and shit cut on. Bitch, I'm not fucking with you. You ain't even on what I'm on, boo-boo. I'm not getting ready to go back and forth with you with this nigga right here and y'all motherfuckers and bought damn near thirty dollars worth of shit. Them motherfuckers had so much fish and shit. They whereas and then she was like, Well uh well can I have my crab leg I mean my frog legs now? You know, so she was wanting to let it be known that she had bought all bitch, I don't know how you pay for all that shit, but looking at y'all motherfuckers and y'all got y'all shit and start walking down the street, bitch, don't fuck with me. Okay, because I I, I don't want you to do don't know this nigga, never seen him before in my motherfucking life, but you just called me out of my name and just done said all this shit about some shots and that's, you know what I'm saying, that bitch is on some waist training and all this old type of shit, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, oh my God, for real? Is this what we doing? <laughs> I make bitches mad, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, today I went on, I tied my little motherfucking penalty on my little motherfucking thing around my goddamn waist and therefore I won't disrespect nobody or fuck nobody up. Cause I ain't, I ain't want to be out here fighting. Fuck what you going through. I, I, I ain't none of that coke die. But I will 911 your motherfucking ass. I ain't got no motherfucking this and that. Nigga, I'm gonna wait right for them motherfuckers to come. Yeah, this bitch right here. I don't want to fight. I don't want to do none of that. But this bitch right here, she has a problem. You know what I'm saying? She has a problem. But if you touch my shit, you touch me or you touch all this right here, nigga, it's, everything is a go after that. Everything is a go. I don't need to get into the specifics, but everything is a go. But until such a time, nigga, you can say, you can bite at the wind and say all that bullshit. Oh, she's this, that. I'm used to it. I'm so used to bitches talking about me. It's crazy. When when uh, Beyonce said that formation shit, nigga, uh, I'm, nigga, uh, namaste. Uh, I understand your soul. Uh, it's what's happening, you know? And it's like, but... You know, it's a trip on just how motherfuckers really treat you. And it's just, I don't know. I go places and chicks just be tripping, be getting mad and all that old type of shit. So, it's whatever. It's just part of the game. What can I say?
You know what I mean? Just don't be trying to fight me because I ain't trying to fight nobody. You know what I mean? And they, you know, them, you the ones that they really be wanting to knock down. You know, especially when you come in there and you bad to the bone. They want to pull your hair out, scratch your face up and fuck you up and scratch you. And you know what I'm saying? Come out, razor blade, cut you up and all that old type of shit. Trying to fuck you up because you coming in there, you know, sick out the game. You know, so I'm not getting ready to go back and forth with you. For, for what reason? What? Are you serious? Are you kidding? Goodbye, bitch. So, um, so anyway, so, uh, bottom line is today while I was ordering my fish, I was on, had my Bluetooth in my ear and I was talking to an old boy and he reiterated the fact that he actually had 18 motherfucking kids and I was like, nigga, I'm cool. I'm cool. And you 50 years old? Yeah, it's some of them motherfuckers. Either you owe for some of them motherfuckers or you still paying. I don't know. But 50 years old and you got 18? Nigga, I'm kind of good. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about how good your skill set is. I don't give a fuck about none of that. 18? Nigga, all this right here. I went through shit to shy Nola to get what I got. And I ain't really trying to share my shit with a motherfucker that ain't going to do, do me right or give me what, you know what I'm saying, equivalency. You know what I mean? That's not going to ask me for, ask me for no more than what he's willing to give. I don't have a problem with sharing, but I'm going to be sharing with a motherfucker that's good to me. You know what I'm saying? That's coming in and he's trying to come in and change the game and help me take care of all this shit that I done manifested. I'm not looking for a motherfucker that want to ride. Fuck that. Fuck what you going to. You know, because as I was getting ready to walk out, he walked me out to my car and shit. And I could just look at this, the look on his face like, okay. You know, because now he see my ride and shit. You know, and sometimes when men see my ride, you know, brothers, you know, it, it, it be some crazy shit that be said sometimes, you know. I, I get some real crazy ass cat calls and shit when I go to the stores and, you know, go pump some gas or, you know, it's, it's always going to be something said or a little small talk or, you know, something. And so you just kind of get used to it. But, you know, anyway, I guess I just got on a soapbox right there. It's just something I guess I just wanted to share. But anyway... As you guys can see, that all is well, and we're going to do a video a day in May. Hit me up on onesexytina at gmail.com if you have some questions and some things that you want to go over. I do have some in there already that have been pending on um, videos that I need to do. Um, and so I will take care of those as well. And um, in the meantime and in between time to catch up with me, you guys know that I, I frequent Facebook. That's my shit right there. Now, I do, um, on my Sexy Tina Facebook page, I do try to tag things for, for over there as well. And I need to do a better job with it because that 5,000 that's in my private page, they're in on everything. And if you're not in there, you're just not in there, you know. And even like on Instagram and Twitter and stuff, I'll post stuff there because I'm primarily posting it from Instagram and just simply sharing it to the other networks. But when I'm responding and going back and forth with you guys, it's primarily on Facebook. So I'm going to have to do a better job with that. I need to get better in my consistency. I need to work on that. I need to work on my procrastination. It's just things that I need to also work on that I'm just not good with. Um, um, you know, I have all these ideas and there's so many things that I want to do, but to make them, to bring them you know, to bring them forth, you know, sometimes I get overwhelmed because there's so many things that I have done in, at once and I can't catch up. And it just, you know, things are constantly moving and you just get lost in the sauce, you know. And so, you know, hey, I'm here. I'm still in the game. And I have so much that I have to make up for. I know. And so we're just going to take our time and we're going to do it. I'm human. I'm a student. I'm a novice. I don't know everything. I'm not the shit. I'm not I'm not the bomb biggity and I'm not the head bitch in charge. I ain't none of that shit. Nigga, I'm lemonade that done been through some bullshit, but sweet on the back end, okay? That's what's happening. So anyway, um, family, I wanted to redo this video because the last time I did it, it was on mute and you heard absolutely nothing. So hopefully now you did hear everything that I wanted to say. 
And um, you guys will see me in a couple more days. And we're going to catch up on some other things. And we're going to start our day, uh, day of video in May. All right, family. I'm gone. I'm out. Love you guys. Love you guys for watching. Bye.